Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are live after 5 a.m. And it's that time of year. Yes, it is. It is that time of year. Ho, 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 ho. So today we're doing Wikipedia, and Tanya, Miss Tanya, wants us to build a Wikipedia app that can go and search Google and Wikipedia at the exact same time. So we have come up with a modification of this design because we decided that putting web pages next to each other would not be very uh, smart. So we're going to go over and under with this, but... Uh, we've done our engineering designs. We're ready to build. Yes, ma'am. Whatever one you like. I know both of them. I'm okay with both. Projects. Start a new project. Wiki that one underscore two underscore two period one quarter two. Um, the year is 16-17. Rach, you okay? Can you slam my door a little bit harder? Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Let's put in, I think we need four layouts. Is that right? No, three. No, four. We forgot. Uh-oh. Fatih, on the, on the board there, can you write down the HA4? We forgot HA4. Layouts. Horizontal arrangement number one. Horizontal arrangement number two. Down there at the bottom. Three and four. Here we go. Horizontal, yep. Horizontal arrangement number one. Fill parent. I'm going to put in a text box in here. I think we got to put our voice button in here, don't you? Because we go look at the greatest. This is basically what we're building right here, right, Google? We're going to have a search bar, search Google, or type URL. And then see how they have their microphone right here? This is basically a button. You can click this. Okay, that was a button. Yep. So if you go to Google, look, this is a watch. How do you know this is a button? Watch. When I click it, you guys going to see a little rectangular square. See the rectangular square right there? Let you know that's a button. Okay. So I just had a better idea. Um, I'm going to put in my voice button right here. Okay. Text box. Let's rename it. PXB search bar okay <laughs> I'm gonna make its width fill parent push that over push that button over here okay this is gonna be my BTN voice so I just autom automatically modified our engineering design paper okay that's gonna be BTN voice um, image, we're going to go get a little voice icon, oval. This one's going to be pretty small because it's in line with that text there. So notice that, let's go back here and look. Google's, that is not a really big icon. So that's what we're building. Um, so we don't want any text on it. And I want its height to probably be something small, 30 by 30. Can you speed up? Okay, so that's my voice button. Button? It's right there in your user interface. So now what I can do is I can go to Google and type in voice icon. 
and images. And I can probably go down here and find Google's voice icon. And this one looks pretty good. Looks like Google's without the, ooh, I like that one. That's cool. View image, right click, save the image as. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it in my documents. I'm gonna create, you guys should be creating a folder. You should be creating a folder. Quarter two, I have a folder called Wikipedia that. I'm going to drop in my microphone, go into MIT. I'm going to put in my image. I'm going to upload it, choose a file, and there it is. We'll see if it needs some GIMP work. Let's see. No, it does not. Just make sure you sign off every time you leave. All right, so I'm going to go back to my text box, and I'm going to put in a hint. The hint is going to be search Google forward slash Wikipedia or type URL. That was exactly, almost like exactly what we saw here, right, on, on Google. That is a, this right here is a hint. When I put my, my um, eye bar icon in there, watch what happens. It's going to go away, right? That's what hints do. They automatically go away when that gets, um, you put your eye bar in there. It's going to say something just like Google. Okay, so let me go back and open up Google. There it is on the first time it comes up. Do you see what it says? Didn't I write this down on your engineering design paper? Are you looking at your engineering design paper? Yeah, you should be. I wrote down, hint, search Google forward slash Wikipedia or type URL, exactly like we saw here. So I'm just looking at one of the greatest search engines in the world. Google, I'm seeing how they do it professionally, and I'm doing mine just like theirs. That's what you do in computer science. Find out what the best are doing and do what the best do. If you learn to do that in life, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna do pretty well. You wanna be the best soccer player in the world? Find out what the best soccer player does every single day. How does he practice? How does he work out? How does he run? Train like a pro and you got a chance of becoming that. Right? So, is that starting to look like Google? Yeah, pretty much. All right, next horizontal arrangement. I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to call this HA Google. Okay? This is going to be HA Wikipedia. And this one down here is going to be my HA Buttons. All right, so inside my Google with Phil Parent, I'm going to go down to, I don't know, I don't see it in here, list view, yep, there it is, web viewer. So let's call, rename this, WBV Google. Why do you not know what I'm doing? Okay, we'll speed up. WBV Wiki. It's a web viewer. It's right here at the very bottom of your user interface. Where you got your buttons at? Is everybody in the button drawer? The user interface drawer. Down at the bottom, there is something called a web viewer. What's it do? If you're not sure what it does, you can use a web viewer, a web view string property to communicate your, your app with JavaScript code running in the web, web viewer page. In an app, you get set 
WebView string. So we're going to look something up like puppies, and then we're going to search it and find it in here. I'm going to show you how to do it. You want to make these heights fill parents so that you get um, these pretty big. You got to make these as big as you can get them. Okay. All right. So I don't need voice down at the bottom, but I need a left arrow. I need a back arrow. What else do we have over there? Uh, a home, home button. We have a go button, and we have a forward arrow. So it looks like we need four buttons down there, not five, because we took that voice button and put it up here. Okay, to make it look like Google. What? Right. Okay. So this is going to be a BTN. Whoa. This is going to be BTN back. This is going to be BTN home. This is going to be BTN go search. And this is going to be BTN forward. Okay, now let's set some properties here. BTN back, width and height, did we say 60? 60 by 60. Um, shapes and oval. Text is none. Home. Same thing, 60 by 60, shapes and oval, delete, go search, 60 by 60, Uh, looks like we need to center these, so I'm going to go to HA buttons and center it. And now I can go get some arrows. So I can go to a back icon. Should be an arrow. I like that guy there. View image. Okay, I can show you how to just to flip. You can flip this in Wikipedia, or I'm sorry, in GIMP. Okay. Nine minutes left. So there's my back button. What else do I need? Um, search icon. Oh, there's a home button right there. Boom, done. See how they they, they already like know what you're doing. Okay. Uh, 
Um, what else do we need? We need back home go. What does search mean? Yeah, there you go. Magnifying glass. Search icon. There it is. Magnifying glass. You're searching. You're looking for stuff. I saw a nice blue in here I kind of like. Oh, and all this has got PNGs already. Everything. It's... Life is good. Life is good. Who understands what we're doing here today? Are you guys getting used to doing this? So I got that icon there. Okay. I'm going to go right here, edit this guy in GIMP. I'm going to flip this. So we have a back arrow and a forward arrow, and it's identical. Do a little bit of GIMP work. So I go to GIMP. I right-click. I go to Image, Transform Image, and Flip horizontally. There you go. File, Export As. It already knows where to go. I'll call this forward. Forward.png, that's done. Okay, let's go to MIT. Let's upload some stuff. Images, back button, choose a file. Back. Forward. Home. I like how we got a little blue theme going on. By the way, did you know that blue is... Um, do you guys know why blue is used a lot? It's the number one favorite color in America. So people make apps with the majority people's favorite color and people like it. So... Now what I can do is just clean this up a little bit. You guys see how there's a bunch of gray boxes on here? Not a big fan. So I'm going to go color, background, none. Okay. Wikipedia, background, none. Um, background, none. And I'm going to keep it a nice solid white. And I'm good. Why are you not building? What, why not? You have to make it, you have to make the computer do what you want it to do. You guys have an engineering paper in front of you, right? You don't even need me. <laughs> Are you guys with me on this? I am here as a bonus. Are you with me? That's why I don't understand when students say, "Can you slow down?" No, you don't need me. <laughs> Do I need to be here right now building this with you? No. So why do I need to slow down? I'm building it. You're building it. I'm just showing you how to build what you already know how to build, right? So build. We can all build at our own pace. Are you with me on that? The only thing that I changed up is I put my voice icon up here to simulate something like Google. Are you with me on that? That's the only thing I deviated from, um, you know, and if we start putting this down here, look, it's just, you know, it's too much. Why not put that up here when we can? Okay. How do you like the look of this so far? 
I think it's solid. It's fresh. Um, you know, if you want to get a little cray cray, you guys can go to um, screen one and you can upload an image to the whole background screen. I know last year I did like uh, like twin dogs and stuff because this is like twin search engines. So I had like two dogs fetching. Twin dogs fetch. And I did something like this, but I probably won't keep it. Um, where are they? Yeah, this stuff like that, jumping into water, they look really funny. Okay. So you guys can go get a background if you want. I just chose like two dogs. That's funny. I, told, I chose two dogs fetching. Um, because I think it's funny in the water too. What is that? That's funny. So, if you look at, oh, there they are. Right? These are the two I had last year. So, you got like two dogs fetching. This is like Google here, and that's Wikipedia. So, if you wanted to, you go right click, save image as, boom, MIT, screen one, background image in screen one, choose a file, dogs, boom, boom. If you want to do something like this, you can. Okay. I like the white, clean background, so I'll probably go back to that. But I'm just showing you, you guys want to have fun, have fun. Yep. Okay. Happy coding. Um, oh, nope, we forgot our invisible components. So let's go back to media. What do we need in here? Text to speech, speech recognizer. How about a sound? Maybe a sound when we find it. Boop. Maybe they, when, when it's, you could do a sound. Um, what else did I have over there? Text to speech. Hola, como estas? Uh, I said banjo, my friend. Isn't that a song somewhere? Um, what do I have over there? Can you guys read me the invisible components? Okay. Oh, yeah, the accelerometer. Forgot about that. Sensors. Accelerometer. You can shake it and go back to the home page. You can have a pedometer on here. A near field. Yeah. So, a pedometer, it, it measures how many steps you take. Right. You can make your own Fitbit app. Okay. I think we're good here. Everybody good? Solid? I think I'm done. If we need more, uh, we'll go back and look for it. But I think it look, that's a good-looking app. We created it. So um, happy coding. Keep calm and code on.